All right, so I wanted to make a video today to go over really some mechanic issues in running here. Um, really some um, not super technical things, but also some things that are very, very important. Uh, I think that we would all like to know when, when running, and I think we had a good case here where we can really go over all those issues here and just... Uh, in, in one situation. So first we can see during the get off phase and um, this is a young high school kid and, and a very common thing within younger high school kids is that um, you, a lot of people don't know how to properly breathe correctly and the diaphragm stabilization in any type of running is uh, critical. So um, this, this athlete was diagnosed with exercise induced asthma um, and, and really what that is, is the, when, when working out for a long period of time, um, getting that shortness of breath and it's really because the athlete didn't, was never really taught how to breathe. Um, and th by doing some breathing drills, we were really able to add a lot of stability to his body and his core. Um, and, and that's just, again, by teaching the diaphragm to work and, and when you see him take off at the beginning, this is before we did the diaphragm stuff, you could see how he's holding his breath a ton during that takeoff phase and he's really holding it the entire time um, and as he starts to get into the stride here and I, I got a little bit in front of him but it ended up working out where now you could see his head is kind of in front of the whole body and it's really uh, evident at the beginning right where his head's pretty far in front but then when he gets back lined up he kind of starts getting his head or sorry his uh, legs under his head but even in this position he's still his head is pretty far in front and what that does is that causes a little bit more activation of the front kind of superficial neck flexors here um, and that will make it so then you end up having more pressure on the low back uh, you have a harder time getting into hip extension which is really getting that glute max all the way through um, and something that is, is critical because of how much power you can generate while using um, and using your glute max while running. And so um, a lot of people that don't use their, you know, use too much hamstrings and uh, not enough glutes while running can end up with obviously hamstring overuse, uh, again, low back pain, um, and even going into neck pain. And that's what we have here um, where that, that neck is kind of is reaching out in front and causing uh, tightness in that area. So um, that would be point number two would be making sure that the neck is uh, or the head is in a good position, the neck is in a good position. Then th the third thing and we get a good one here would be ensuring you get in triple extension and triple extension would be getting full extension here with the foot, full extension here with the knee and then full extension with the glute here. Um, there's always kind of a different different ways of interpreting the body and um, one of them is like okay what comes first the the chicken or the egg type of a thing so with his inability to get his neck in a good position and breathe correctly made it so he can't get into the good triple extension here or was he unable to get into good triple extension and so to compensate he started to use more of his um, diaphragm and neck and things of that area to try to produce the same type of um, power we don't really know for sure, but the big thing is that we want to be able to correct both, and obviously that's what we're going for. We're going for ensuring good breathing while running, ensuring good head and neck position while running, and also ensuring that you're getting the most out of each step by getting into full triple extension. Let me know if you have any questions about any of this stuff, and thanks for watching. As always, bye.